Hello everyone and welcome back to Pinkin Plays Banish Colonial Charter 1.7 Journey. We are back in the lovely town of Jamestown and I am still very terrified of the idea of crashes. I've tried to make this video twice and it's crashed both times. How nice. How lovely. Either way, we're back to the save. This is immediately after the uh, last episode I did. So down here, if you remember, I have the Cooper over by the Brewer now. And these will be destroyed, given time. Other than that, I think it's just important to uh, let it play. That's... Let it play. Make sure that uh, it doesn't fall apart. Really all I can ask for. Just looking around, it's nice. Make sure that we'll, the uh, fields that we do have right now are all being worked. I hope they are. Either way, I think we're going to do some work up here, because I've actually already done some work up here before, and I like what I did. And it was all lost. So, we're going to do it again. What I'm thinking is, it's far enough away from the Riverside Settlement, it's far enough away from the proper town, that this kind of, this area deserves some houses, it deserves some market area, it deserves like a... Uh, like a blacksmith, maybe. Something something to really just bring out the fact that this is going to have to be like a little little hamlet to itself. A little, little town. We've got our barn. Next to the barn, we got a bee shelter. The bees! We got a fenceless pasture, it's gonna have chickens. And a bunch of communal farmlands. It's so good. We only have 23 laborers at the moment. And a chicken pet. Now then, some of the things I was thinking about building here would be some more houses. That's what's really important. Some more houses. Hmm. I think there is enough room to set one in back here. Yeah, just enough. There's gonna be a house right there. And there would be enough room for a house here. Yeah, let's have it outward. Outward so that we have, say, country road that connects this stuff up beep, beep. and out where is the nearest bridge it's over here so we would come around the road like that come into the kind of hard with all these uh all this brush that needs to be picked up kind of hard bit They'll come in. Okay, good. Obviously, it needs to stop by this house front and barn. It needs to be a road connecting over to the bees. Huh. Reserve blocks is low. I still don't understand that message. We have over a thousand. How is that low? Who considers that to be a low amount of logs? Is it low considering how much building we're doing? We do have 91 jobs. Let's see. How about another house there? Got some open space right here, but that's right That's right next to the bees. I don't think anyone would want to be there. Would want to be there. More houses? Oh, that's a duplicate house. House is coming this way. So we basically come from off this side road and down this area. So share out a couple houses, lining it there. Come on in, up, around, and out. That's good, that's good. Leave some space to work with in the middle. Can't build directly there. Up. Else. Ah, uh, to save. Hmm. Stone ropes. Now then, like I was saying, this area would definitely need some kind of market. Whether it's the general goods market that I've been using at all my outward areas. Could be, could be. I've been using those a lot. Where's... We got small market, tiny market, mini food market. 
Central Small Town Market? Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. There's gotta be a way I can situate it. Perhaps if I just remove some of these roads. What was it again? Goods market? Nope. Farmer's market? Oh, that's cute. It's the small town's market. Uh, can't get it just right. There we go. Bam. Put that in there. I think we could also benefit from lots of things we have in here. Oil press. Oh, we have. Ooh, that's an interesting oil press. Preservist. A barbecue. Hmm, so tasty. But what else? A well. Yeah, this would be the kind of area that would have a well. Even though it's right next to the river. You know, whales are nice. Whale, whale, whale. We have a house coming in back here. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. These barns in this area, they don't really have a... The farms in this area really don't have a barn, do they? Perhaps we put one in back here. Hmm. Oh, or... I think we could put in like a small storage right there. Bam. Small storage. So small. Can't really get away with putting one in there. All these are just one tile spaces. Not very good. Ah, I got a new field. Got some sweet potatoes. Now the biggest problem when it comes to the harvest right now is the fact that we have so few laborers that it's really going to be difficult for them to get the harvest in. Either way, we're looking at possibly city, no, melting house, no. Small town blacksmith, I have that in the main town. City blacksmith. Hardware store, yeah, that's cute. Workshop. Yeah, that sounds like it. Sounds like what they would have over here. Sure. Sure, sure. Do we still have enough gatherers, yeah? So what have my workers, my builders, been building? They are building this gatherer's hut. Nice. What if I brought that down to one person to build it? Build it slowly. You are building what? Ah, the food supplier. This is going to be a very important part of my plan, because this this is what I was working on in the episode that never happened because of the crash. So this food supplier is only going to bring in food. Only food products. Meaning that we can sell things out of this food supplier and it can make up for all the deficit that we have in production. Which makes sense. I mean, a real city would not have to produce its own food. It would have some other means of getting food. It would have trade. So I really like this, because it seems to bring it in at a pretty good rate, too. In large amounts, and fairly often. It's a very good... Oh, hey. Hey, friend. Looks like we're going to have a uh, trader stop by in a month or two. How are you doing? Not a whole lot of fish here, is it? I don't know. I still kind of like it. Oh, uh, I was safe. Uh, I really don't know what's the problem when it comes to... You know, what's, I really don't understand what's going on with during all these crashes. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I do know that I used a debug tool, which is basically a tool designed to bug your game and make it crash so you can know how to fix it. 
But even so, I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong. At least I got these sick beats to listen to. Ooh, you know, I wonder. Over here at the uh, fishing village. Yeah, this thing, just get rid of it. It's too small. We are quickly outgrowing this. I should probably do some development over here. I think starting with the food supplier. Oh. Come out like this. Because this appears to be the main road of the area. Coming out to this creek bridge. But now, this is a much bigger road. Oh, I can't see it under all this tree line, though. I don't even think it's built. How about we bring it up there? There's that trader. There's my trady boy. Let's see what the trader wants. It has seeds! That's different. Can I buy anything? Ooh. Peas, parsnips, peaches, and peppers. It's a good thing that I got this uh, peak shield on my mic. Well, that would have really screwed things up. I think maybe the parsnips? Let's see just how much I have to give, shall we? Yeah, I can buy two, easy. Do I even have enough to make 2,500 out of anything else? I don't think I do. So I can do... <laughs> Maybe the peach and parsnip? Maybe the peach and parsnip. I like that the planter brought so many peas. However, the next time they, they stop by, I want them to bring mul mulberry seeds. Mulberry. Where is that in here? B and M. Oh, I do want them to bring kale, though. Chestnuts, flax, ginger, lettuce, red, and white. Sure, let's uh, just, you know, bring them. Make sure you bring them, okay? Thank you. Just once. Oh, and you're allowed to leave. I think I overpaid for those. No, no, wait. Oh, I bought the peaches. It was okay. Perfect amount. That's right. So yeah, now I have another... another crop that I can never bother to actually pick up. Now I need those mulberry seeds because these uh, silkworm huts, they take mulberry leaf. And I can use them to make them silk cocoons, to make silk. To make, first off, better clothing, but also potentially to trade for more food. Which is the main idea behind it. Let's see, how's our production? Abysmal. Uh, but there is there is a silver lining on the horizon. See, when I was playing ahead, after all of these had been built, after I had just added in additional citizens into the game by myself, we were actually outproducing our use, and it was fantastic. It was definitely the future. I don't know, I think that took maybe two years. I think I might have taken two years. What are we working on? I want to take a little gander. Another gatherer's hut. Every time the game auto saves, it makes me feel as if it's about to crash. Well, either way, if we're going to do this, it's enable zero cost. Let's get some houses out here. This is the 
this is what I've usually been working with, some log cabins. Putting them around the uh, gatherer's hut. Four, because there's going to be four workers in there. Although maybe I should do five. They can, you know, they can buddy up. Then I would have a general goods merchant. And a small barn. Doesn't need to be a big barn. It's not really necessary. And there's the gatherer set. Then you there. Get some more workers, boy. I should probably start running some country roads. Yeah, right to there. Sure, sure. I don't know if any of these other places have country roads. It would probably help. I really like this point. There's a bunch of like... not sure what kind of trees they are, but it's, it's just nice and pretty over here. Didn't even have to do anything. And you know, we got the uh, little shanty village here. Love it. Got another village here. Okay, connected up to that. Got one person who is homeless. But are you actually homeless? Um, am I paused? Have I been paused this whole time? No, she's she's just glitched. Yeah, things are moving. Things are moving, why aren't you? Might be because they're stuck over there. Let's let's give him a little let's give him a little way out. Yep, there they go. How'd they get over there? They can't get back. You know, it's not too bad, it's just, it's just some rocks. Rock Ridge. Ah. It's so sad to have gone so far. Like, this was a well-developed area when I left off playing. It's so sad to have done all that work just to lose it all and have to come back. But it's nice to be able to do it again. What are we working on, fam? Ah, yeah, the food supplier. Forgot about that. Slowly bringing in the lumber. That's fine, that's fine. I was making sure all of my outward gathering settlements were hooked up, right? Yeah. Because I've built quite a few of them. I built a lot of the gatherer settlements, built a few hunting settlements to get more leather and things. Traders are very important. The uh, traders, and I guess merchants, if you want to call them that. Huh. Oh yeah, this was a really loose settlement, wasn't it? <laughs> Just string them together. these guys up. Where's the closest day? Oh wow. That's a long way, ain't it? Oh, that, that's so pretty. I know I've probably said this like a million times, but I really do love seeing just the the fields when they're about to be harvested. Right at late summer. Ooh, there's one more thing. Where was it? Looking for a stable. Yeah, a stable like this. Bam. I can't do anything with it yet unless I'd have, like, corn. Turn corn to domestica domesticated? What's that? Domesticated animal. Because then, if you do that, is that a, is that a a ch five year old child. What you carrying? 51 blueberries. Good for you. Where's this guy even live? 
Daryl. Nice, nice. We're going to expand slowly, slowly but surely. Let's just uh, cut down our builders for a moment so we have more people to possibly harvest. I mean, I'll just add more food as it comes along, but I prefer not to. Farmer, child. Farmer and farmer. Child. Uh, Ariant. Just a one-year-old child living by themselves. Taking on the world. Six-year-old laborer. 41-year-old farmer. With an impronounceable name. Beekeeper with children. Herdsman. Oh, that's a nice family. Either way, I'm going to cut it here. We really didn't do much in this episode, but... It's just, it's, we're just going to have to inch forward until I can get these bugs sorted out. Either way, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe, and go ahead and suggest what you think I should do. I know where you think I should do it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!